one and all, and welcome to Let's Judge, I Want to Be an Alchemist. This is your judge, Liberty, and uh, just to give you a quick rundown, RMN, RPGmaker.net, held a competition using only the Ace Light engine, where you had to make a full game in two weeks. Uh, Ace Light is a light version of RPG Maker VX Ace and it, uh, how do I say, it, it's very limited in what it can do so you have a limited amount of maps, number, um, items, eventing, no scripting, stuff like that and the idea was to limit yourself, see how far you could push the engine without breaking its limits and uh, make a full game. So we got about 19 entries and this is one of them. So uh, I'm not exactly sure who made this one. I think it might have been Eerily. And um, I've been going in blind to all these. So I'm LPing every single one. Thank Oh, God help me. And um, <coughs> last time I tried to boot this one up, it had a bit of an error. But it seems to be working now. So woo, yeah. Uh, once upon a time there was a beautiful city made prosperous by the wondrous powers of alchemy. Alchemists, who knew the intricate ways and secrets of this art, were abundant and made amazing and wonderful things. The city was brought bright and lights lit the street and homes during the darkest hours of the night. Many people flocked to the city hoping to earn their fortune through trade. Ah, uh, Ernest. Radio. <clears throat> Welcome to the world of alchemy. Apparently this is a lot like, um, what's it called? My apprenticeship started with most apprentice, like most, with a test. This is the uh, often the way of things, blah blah blah, potential pupil. Unlike my apprentice test, my testing lasted almost a week. Most pe many people try to joke with now, like to joke with now, insisting that Master Ennis is trying to run me off, but I only laugh at that. Sometimes though, I do wonder if the others fled because of the Monday task. For instance, my first day I did nothing but make potions. Um, this is apparently like um, Atelier. Iris, Atelier, Annie, Atelier, blah blah blah, uh, Manichemia, but not so much in the school way, and it uses Naya. So, I'm just making a potion? Yup. And Siren! Woohoo! Siren! I mean, Ernest, yes. Mm -hmm. Just the one? One, three, however many. Monkey! Uh, now, um, hell no, I'm not. Uh, adventure? I don't even understand what this means. Okay. Uh, menu? Save. Aha! Let's see, what did I find? Water, earth, and air. Ah, uh, so it's a bit more like money. Um, yeah. Pocket knife and casual clothes. Wonderful. Alright. Um, this map. It's cool, but it's a bit. It's a little bland. Uh Um <laughs> Oh my god, you could have warned me, man. Oh no, I saved. Yeah, all right. Oh my god, father. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. This is me failing at being an alchemist. Woohoo, yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. You should probably post somewhere where your energy is. That might come in handy. Just, just a, just a teensy, wincy, litsy, bitsy bit. 
I don't get what the 2 out of 10 thing is, um, on the level field thing. It'd be nice if we had a small tutorial telling us what it means. That would probably help a lot. Um, let's adventure. Let's go, uh, easy. Uh oh, easy. And once more, easy. Alright. Back. Um, see, I have no idea what, um, Alchemy, potion, alchemy. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had like a, an indication of how much energy you have left, maybe. Yeah, that would be really nice. My second test was a bit more exciting, at least at first glance. Master Ernest explained to me that any alchemist worth his or her salt gathered their own materials. I knew this already as I've met many alchemists already that had personal gardens and liked for growing and harvesting materials. I was not set to gardening, however. I was sent off into the forest with my meagre equipment. Nonetheless, I find myself a bit more challenged than I had anticipated. Yay, we're going to get our asses raped. Remember, I don't suggest you go anywhere but the forest right now. It's a bit dangerous in other areas and you aren't properly prepared for it yet. Only be wasting your enemy and that's one resource you're limited to each day. Yes sir, exploration and looking for materials consumes energy. If I get too tired, I have to quit for the day. And if you don't complete the task I give you by the end of the day, then Naya loses. Don't come back without five water and five earth. Also, if you aren't too tired when you get back, try out this recipe. Receive the other. It'd also be nice if we could see what, um, if we went into the menu, if there was a list of what the, um, like, you could have a little note that tells you how much they cost, sort of thing. Like, it could, you could check, I don't know, under the key items you could have the alchemy what are they called? The alchemy shit. Recipes, that's the one. If we could have the alchemy recipes and... Yeah. Unfortunately. Try to keep an upbeat attitude, blah blah blah. Ernest had never taken a student on before. Few people could deal with his abrasiveness. He also wanted slow to give people a chance. In fact, the only reason I ever got a shot was because of a small object. I wedged my most prized possession that I could convince him. If I won, I could receive it. Either way, he won. Either way, I lost a little. This is the general rule of alchemy, though. To gain, you have to lose something. Anyways, I was steadily growing more confident that I could actually win, especially when he gave me a gift of sorts. Yeah, and it'd be nice if we could see um, the physical, actual recipes so we'd know how much water and earth material we used. Let's adventure. Oh, 
Well, that was a little bug. I don't know if I'd call this interesting, really. Oh, is that our chances out of twin? Our, our, our chance of finding stuff? So level one. All right, so we found a lot of materials. Uh, menu. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, we got a lot of water, a lot of earth, and some air. That works. Made a variety of trinkets and oddball items over the years, some powerful and useful, others less so, but I always hold a special place in my heart for rings. I never wore them in my youth, but I developed a taste for them after my testing period with Master Ernest. Big and gaudy, plain and unadorned, it doesn't matter to me. Rings always have a story to tell though. That they do. Menu, uh, equipment, save, adventure. nice to actually go into the dungeons and actually find stuff too. You are! Come across many difficult tasks over the years, but the hardest by far was what asked of me on my fifth day. Remember how I said gain, to gain you must lose? Both Master and I learnt one of it. I learned that the customer is always right, especially when the customer is the queen. Ooh, this sounds interesting. Day five, to gain is to lose. Oh, visitor, Naya, this is the queen. It's a pleasure to meet you, your majesty. <laughs> That's a little queen. Hello, your chibi man majesty. Ernest, you said you could find it. I'm working on it, your majesty. Oh, that jewel. Miss Naya, was it? I think you can help me. You see, I'm looking for a rare gem called the Adelaide Stone. It's going to be used for a machine that helps power the city. You mean the one on my bracelet? What would happen to the stone? Well, obviously it would be destroyed over the years, but it would power the city for the next ten years, so I'm told by my advisor. Energy sources are becoming rarer and rarer, Miss Naya. We need stones like those and alchemists like Master Ernest to run a city this great. I, I don't know if I could. Just think about it. I'll be back tomorrow. You'd be doing the city a wonderful favor, and you'd be paid out of the royal treasury. Is that why you wanted the stone, Master Ernest? Yeah. Funded by nobles, do a few jobs for them, free to practice alchemy. Oh, sounds like a good life. <clears throat> Well, first thing first things first, I want to adventure. What do you mean failure? Don't fucking failure me, bitch. Hmm. <coughs> 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 
worked to the bone for the next few years. I was often tired or covered in something sticky or acrid, but I was never happier. My relations with Master Ernest were friendly for the rest of our lives, even when he would pretend that he didn't want visitors when I came by. I knew all the spots in the house he could hide where he kept his spare keys. I think it may have been a bit of a game for him. Anyways, I ran my alchemy shop, creating things at low prices, things that actually lasted. I didn't always make a whole lot of money, but I still blah blah blah. Wonderful life with the love of my many friends. Oh, Finn. Alright. Well, I'm going to chop this here, and on the next episode, we'll see if I cut what happens when I choose the other choices. So, until then, ciao!